Tornadoes, high wind, and hail all forecast for October 18, 2025. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pew, and the Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk or a two out of five for severe weather from Texas all the way to the Mississippi Valley, and also a marginal risk going from the Ohio Valley and a little bit to the Great Lakes. And what this entails is that we have a pretty broad risk of a 5% chance to see an isolated tornado in that slight risk area, but in the marginal risk area, we're gonna have a 2% chance going from the south all the way to a little bit of that Great Lakes region. And a similar thing could be said for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. We have a 15% chance in that slight risk area and a 5% chance throughout. And for large hail up to 2 inches in diameter, we have a 15% chance from Texas to the Ozarks. Just like I mentioned in yesterday's video, overnight we had some storms pop up in eastern Texas and Oklahoma and they're slowly traveling eastward and these are pretty much the precursors to what we're going to see today. So in this moment, we already had some storms stretching from Texas, Oklahoma, all the way to Missouri and these are going to slowly increase in intensification. And so by 12 to 2 p.m. central time today, we're going to have a pretty well-defined squall line or essentially a really long band of storms. And these bands of storms are going to slowly travel eastward and so we're going to see most of the intensification and risk this afternoon evening and maybe a little bit into the night as well but in addition to all those hazards that i just mentioned we do have a flash flood risk going from the mississippi valley to the great lakes but mostly for the ozarks and so we're going to have a lot of convection not just for the south but also for the midwest and great lakes region as well as we're going to have a lot of consistent moderate to heavy rain pretty much throughout the day so you can expect storms to pop up around like 6 p.m in northern illinois and beyond so why this is all happening we look at 500 millibars a midway the troposphere this trough that we've been looking at pretty much throughout this week has stretched all the way from canada to texas and we have a lot of high winds aloft on both sides both on the east side and the west side and these high winds aloft are going to play a huge role so for example the high winds aloft on the east side are providing a lot of good shear or just tilting those updrafts and prolonging those storms and in addition to that we have southwesterly flow and it's bringing in warm air advection into this area and so on the flip side on the west side of this trough it's bringing in northwesterly flow bringing in a lot of cold air advection and then last but not least with this trough we are having a lot of vorticity or spin and that's helping with the upward motions now going down to the surface so the main reason why we have these storms forming in this line is because of this cold front and the cold fronts are the boundary between the cold dry air into the warm moist air and with cold air being more dense than warm air it's making the warm air rise up and we have a low pressure somewhere centered around the oklahoma area and it's doing two things one because of that southwesterly flow it's bringing in that warm moist air from the gulf into the south region but also with that northwesterly winds it's bringing in that cool dry air reinforcing that cold front and we have a high pressure somewhere around the southeast atlantic and that's clockwise flow and it's bringing in south to southeasterly winds into the south as well bringing in that gulf moisture but we also have a really strong high pressure somewhere around the northern rockies and it's bringing in northwesterly flow and so that's bringing in more cool dry air and reinforcing that cold front as well